Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. I try to run Ether SX2 PlayStation 2 emulator on my Pinebook Pro, but unfortunately that doesn't work and apparently the OpenGL support is not good enough on the Pinebook Pro. Um, well, in my case with Manjaro, but probably um, the OpenGL support is through Mesa. And yeah, some people say like, well, yeah, the chip in the Pinebook Pro is not powerful enough. Well, what I'm going to show you today is that I also have the Samsung Chromebook Plus with the Rockchip RK3399 and perhaps it's clocked like perhaps something like 10% higher um, but I think 10% should not make a big difference. So I'll try to show you that we're actually running on a Rockchip RK3399. So you can see that it says RK3399 here, four gigabytes of memory. And here it says that it can be clocked up to two gigahertz. So first I'm going to test PPSSPP and there is no, uh, let's just say, special Chromebook application or compilation. But since most of the Chromebooks, practically all of them nowadays, they all come with an Android container. So we can run the Android version of PPSSPP on the Chromebook Plus. And first we're going to test Monster Hunter Freedom. And that is a game that runs pretty decent on the OpenGL backend. And well, you can see here that I can't choose Vulcan anyway. So unfortunately, um, I'm running six times rendering resolution and I also tested this on my Pinebook Pro and that one is giving me some performance issue already with four times the resolution.
So perhaps the performance is now a bit slower because I'm running this on an external monitor. So, but when I was running this on the internal screen, then this uh, was running at 30 frames per second. So we'll try it again, and then we'll lower it to five times. Let's see if that works better. So let's see what it does now. Uh, still some frame drops here and there. Uh, like I said, it's probably because now I'm running on an external monitor, so it's driving two monitors, the laptop screen and the external monitor at the same time. So probably that's eating away some performance. But I think when we lower the resolution to three times, then it still looks very good. So, but you can see that I also have God of War. Uh, but that is typically a game that um, it runs best with Vulcan. So unfortunately, I cannot choose it here. So you can run it, but um, it will have uh, severe performance issues. So as you can see, I already dropped the resolution. And I'm going to activate frame skip. And as um, yeah, I'm already seeing some more performance issues because I'm running with a external monitor. So then I'll put frame skip five. And yeah, when you're just running on the laptop screen itself, then perhaps you can get away with frame skip four. Well, there's some uh, issues with uh, the text.
So we're running at 10 frames per second. And well, when you really want to, you can play it. It's, uh, but of course, 10 frames per second is not uh, ideal. But, um, on my pine book then i do have um, more performance issues and especially when you launch your enemies into the air then it it really slows down and here at least it's it looks like it's keeping a steady 10 frames per second So I guess this uh, is enough to show uh, what is possible with uh, PP, SSPP on the Samsung Chromebook Plus with the RK3399. So now the other question is, does Ether SX2 run? So I already tested some games, but unfortunately, um, yeah, it, it's not possible to play at 60 frames per second at the moment. So, yeah, you can try to uh, do maximum underclock. And yeah, for some reason, the multi-threaded VU1 that didn't really help it, it, it actually made things worse. So here we have like the option to try to use Vulcan, but that doesn't really work. And we'll try the half native. So here you can see that Vulcan doesn't work just returns to the menu. So we'll go with OpenGL. So it's giving some warnings, but yeah, this is just uh, for testing. Like I said, don't expect 60 frames per second. And with half the resolution, yeah, it doesn't make things prettier. But at least um, Ether SX2 uh, can be started on the Rockchip RK3399. But yeah, of course you will need the proper drivers. And I think on Linux, uh, we still don't have the full access to the hardware. So 
So yeah, this this yeah, you could say this really hurts my eyes. So mm. so we'll go with the original resolution well that looks a bit better but um yeah, this is not uh, running at the correct speed. So, but the good thing is, is that at, at least you can start it and you can try to tweak with the settings and perhaps in the future um, with some more optimizations, then perhaps with a bit of luck, uh, we can get that 60 frames per second and well, to be honest, I I don't really think uh, a Falcon will be fixed on the Samsung Chromebook Plus for the Rockchip RK3399. And I guess, well, my bet is that um, we will probably see um, an ARM laptop with proper Linux support with better performance um, and that probably we won't see Vulcan on the Rockchip RK3399 so I'm really looking forward to a Rockchip RK3588 laptop um, or yeah like with an ARM chip with similar performance or even a RISC-V chip with similar performance so but this is this was just a test with pp sspp and either sx2 on the chromebook plus the samsung chromebook plus uh just to show you what is possible with the rockship rk3399 so that's all for now and i hope to see you again in my next video